Good day to everyone! We continue to study Sapphire 3D and in this lesson we will export our model to Lira Supper and provide analysis. To open finite element scheme in PC Lira Supper, click on the button Open in Visor Supper. In the window service information will appear message cannot find elements that part of load is applied to 4.27% lost. The lost part of the load is located above the stairway opening. Open Lira Supper window. After we performed export in Lira Supper, we need to check correctness of exported data. First of all, let's check types of cross sections. Click on the tab Advanced Edit Options. On the panel Geometric and Properties, find the button Mosaic Plot of Assigned Stiffnesses and click on it. Then on the Create tab, click on the button Material Properties. Click on the button Flex of Drawing on the Search tab and check Loads. Then click on the button Redraw. As you can see, all types of stiffnesses have been exported correctly. Now let's check type of materials. In the dialog box Stiffness and Materials, click on the second tab RC. Then on the tab Advanced Edit Options, click on the button Mosaic Plot of Assigned Materials RC. As you can see, all types of materials have been exported correctly. Click again on the button Mosaic Plot of Assigned Materials RC. Now let's check correctness of exported loads. In the dialog box display on the third tab, check loads. Click on the button Edit loads. In this dialog box you can see loads which applied to your scheme in this load case. To change load case, click on the button Next load case or select load case from drop down list. As you can see, values of lots a little bit higher than we said. It is because after exporting Lira Supper, load values that we have been set in Sapphire are multiplying on the coefficient of reliability. You can change coefficient of reliability in the dialog box load cases in Sapphire 3D. In the dialog box display, uncheck loads. Let's check boundary conditions of the foundation slab. On the Create and Edit tab on the Tools panel, click on the button Mosaic Plot Moduli of Subgrade Reaction C1Z. In the dialog box Display, click on the second tab and modify size of visualization of restraints. Click on the button Redraw. Now we need to unify direction of local axis of elements. In the dialog box display, click on the first tab Elements and check Unified local axis of plates and solids for results. Click on the button Redraw. For all horizontal FE and ramp elements, local axis should be directed in accordance with the global coordinate system. In wall elements, the local y-axis, blue arrow, has to be pointed up. As we can see, we don't need to unify direction of local axis because Sapphire 3D automatically performs the necessary alignment of axis for floor slabs and diaphragms. On the tab Analysis, click on the button DCL table. As you can see, all coefficients have been exported correctly. Close dialog box Design Combinations of Load. Click on the button Complete Analysis. Click on the tab Results. On this tab you can see deformations of our scheme along and over global axis. Forces in bars, 
and stresses in plates and solids. Also, you can generate tables of results. Click on the button Standard Tables. In this dialog box you can select data which you want to see. Input data is a data about your scheme before analysis. Output data is a data about your scheme after analysis. Results. Select line forces from DCL and click on the button Apply. In window that's opened you can see table with different tabs. On the first tab there is an information about DCL coefficients. On the second tab you can see forces in every bar element of your scheme from different combinations of loads. On the th third tab you can see forces in every plate of your scheme from the different combinations of loads. Close this window and then close dialog box tables. Click on the tab RC. On this tab you can see results of reinforcement. On the panel reinforcement of bars you can see the results of reinforcement of columns, symmetric and beams asymmetric. The button asymmetric is inactive now because there are no beams in our scheme. On the panel reinforcement in plates you can see results of upper and lower reinforcement of plates. On the color palette you can see that few elements haven't been reinforced. It happened because in Sapphire 3D maximal percent of reinforcement is 3. These elements require more reinforcement due to high values of forces. Click on the button Type RC. Select Type number 3 and click on the button Edit. In Table Plate select Line 3 Slab and in the right part of this dialog box in the field Percent of Reinforcement set Max 5. Click on the button OK. Close this dialog box and click on the button Analysis. Let's export reinforcement results to Sapphire 3D. Click on the Application button. Select line Export reinforcement results to Sapphire. Turn on radio button whole design model and click on the button OK. Now click on the Windows Sapphire. Click on the application button and select line import analysis results for reinforcement. In the window select file, select file with name of your project and format .asp and click on the button Open. Click on the tab Reinforcement and click on the button Show. On this stage I propose to finish our lesson. Don't forget to save your project and see you on the next lessons.